This week I'm testing the Genesis G80 sedan. This thing looks cool. Let's find out how good it is as a baby drive. In the back of the G80 there are isofix in the two outer rear seats and top tether anchorages on the back parcel shelf for all three seating positions, which gives you that really good flexibility. Now, I did manage to get three child seats in here with a booster seat in that central seat. It is a little bit of a squash just with the curved headroom here and with the shaping of the seat, but I did get them in there. I found with two seats in the back, it was a really nice fit. Legroom is quite good. We could get a 180 centimeter passenger in front of a rear facing child seat. And just cabin space does work really well with the rear facing child seat on the passenger side and forward facing behind the driver. The screens in the back mean that the kids in the back can watch them while you're driving along, which is great for keeping them entertained. They can also play with all the features in the media screen, like the air conditioning and things like that. So if you've got fiddly fingered kids, it can get a little bit annoying. In the back of the G80 storage is quite minimal. There are map pockets on the back of both front seats that will hold but not conceal an iPad. The door bins are quite small. I could just get a large refillable water bottle in there, but it's falling over. And there are the little hand wells in the doors too. Now there's a big fold down in the central seat back. That's got controls in there for all the media screens and things. It's also got a little storage well with a um, USB port so you can plug in your headphones and things like that to watch. And there's two cup holders in the front of it. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. In the back of the G80, there were window blinds on the rear windows, which is fantastic, as well as one on the rear windscreen, which is really good so you don't get the sun in the face of rear facing passengers while you're driving along. That one automatically comes down when you put the car into reverse too, which is fantastic so you've got better visibility out of the back. The front seats in this G80 are fantastic. So the passenger one, you can move them backwards and forwards just from the driver's seat with these buttons, which is great for getting better access into the back and for uh, helping people out of this front passenger seat. The front driver's seat also has electronic controls down the side of it and it comes up in the screen as well. You can also move the seats in the back. So there's a setting that they will automatically move when you open the rear doors. I didn't need that with the child seats, but I can imagine just for passengers, it would be really nice. In the front of the G80, the storage is good too. There are two cup holders in the central console. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup. Behind them, the central console box is a good size and it's felt lined. In front of them, there's a wireless phone charging well and that's got a USB socket too. The glove box is a good size and that will hold my wallet with the manual and other things in there. The door bins are quite large and they'll just hold a large refillable water bottle and there's the door handle storage too. And there's a glasses case in the ceiling. You can drive the Genesis just using the key fob here. You can start the engine and then drive it forwards and backwards just using these controls, which is really handy. But if you've got a tight car parking space, you can drive it in or out so that you can then get your children in and out through the back doors without damaging the cars next to it. The doors of the G80 and the boot open and you can lock them just with the key on your person which makes it really nice and easy when you come to the car with your children and all their things. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty it will hold 14 shopping bags or a twin stroller and four shopping bags, a tandem pram and five shopping bags, a single stroller and five shopping bags or a compact stroller and nine shopping bags. The G80 
is a really nice car to drive. I get quite excited when I go to drive this car, mainly because of the way it looks, but it also drives really nicely. It's quite smooth and it kind of glides. You can feel the bumps more than I thought you'd be able to feel, and it is really large, so it does fill parking spaces. But luckily, that remote driving backwards and forwards in and out of spaces does help, especially when you've got little kids. The media system in the G80 is really nice to use. It's, there's a lot to it, and I haven't used all of it this week, but it's got some great features in here. It's got sounds of nature, which is fantastic. This gives us the nice sound of the Carmation waves or rainy day or open cafe, which is really nice. There's also in here, you can control the rear climate and the front from here, which is great. Now it has got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well, which is fantastic. And when I put it into reverse, the camera image is lovely and clear, and you can mute the car parking sensors with a button down in the central console. So to sum up with the G80, it is a fantastic baby drive. I love the way it looks on the outside and on the inside there is not a bit of black plastic in sight. This wooden dash is beautiful. It's also really practical. We've got those two child seats in here really nicely for my family this week and it's really nice in the front for the grown-ups too. The boot space is good and the media system is fantastic.